So today we're going to make a djembe drum and you're going to need all of these items. Please do not use any um, magic markers that are washable because they will be a very bad project. So just take those away. You're going to need either Sharpie markers or paint. So you need to choose. These have to be the Sharpies or they won't work. And your cut paint, some string, some duct tape. You could use masking tape, but it might not hold as great. You need two balloons, two rubber bands, scissors, and you're going to be needing a cup and then a small um, like yogurt container. So that's what you're going to need. Pause the video and go get your items. I'm guessing you have all of your things now. Now I'm thinking you're going to need a grown up and you're going to need something called an owl or you could try with a Phillips head screwdriver and uh, you probably go need a grown up because we have to make a hole in the bottom of these items and do some cutting. And that might be dangerous on um, how old you are. So let's start, let's try it the other way. It might be easier, poke a hole in it. Okay, and then we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut the bottom because we're gonna put these two cups together and the sound needs to be able to go all the way through the drum. So we're gonna cut the bottoms of both. That one's pretty easy to do. Let's try the other one. We learned that this way doesn't work so good. So we're gonna go through the bottom. This is the dangerous part. Okay, a hole in it. Like I said, you could probably try now that you made one hole, we'll make it bigger with the screwdriver. That'll be easier for the scissors to get through. And then we're just gonna cut it. I'm cutting the last little bit off. All right, now we're gonna take those and we're gonna put those together and we'll do that with some duct tape. Might wanna get somebody to help you hold it. Those actually fit in just perfect. Put that on there. Duct tape is very sticky. Now it's going to be not quite the same. It's going to have wrinkles to it because you're not going on a flat surface. Put that on real good. Okay, now you can see that this one still has some, you know, words to it. So that might be the side that you want to paint. And this side, you could just decorate with your markers. It's got these nice little grooves in here. And I could take my time and I could color some of those in. So I'm gonna pause this and you go ahead and start decorating before we do the next step. So when it comes to painting, you always wanna make sure that you shake your paint up, get it all stirred up, depends on how long it's been sitting around, and um, always get some paper towels or um, newspaper so that your surfaces don't get damaged and you can throw that part out. I have a cutting board here, but I'm going to take a paper, some paper towels and put that on there. And um, I have a foam brush. You, if you don't have a brush, you could use um, earbuds, the things that you use for cleaning your ears. And I'm going to, my, my paint is uh, right here at the top. Very thick paint. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to try and paint the whole thing yellow. Now I don't have to paint right up against the edge because that part is going to be covered with my balloon and it might take a couple coats of this because this is uh, yellow going on top of the black words. All right, so and look, it's even coloring the duct tape. I wasn't sure it was going to do that. All right, I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back and give it another coat. 
Okay, everything is dry now, it looks good. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and we'll see if this is gonna work. I'm gonna cut the balloon and I'm gonna start with the little one first because I think that'll be easier. And I'm gonna stretch my balloon, see if it works, over, woo! That worked really good. And then, that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna take the rubber band, just to make sure it works good, I'm gonna put that rubber band around there to hold it on. All right, let's do the other side. Now this cup is a, not as strong as that little Tupperware, so we'll see if we can get it to go. Cut it, a little stuck there. Let's see if I can do it. You might need help. Oh, wow, I don't even know that that needs a rubber band on there, but I'll put one on because that's what the directions say. I found this online. That should help to hold that on as I play it. I want to make sure you could strike. To make it look like the djembe, all right, let's try. We're gonna make a circle around the middle and make it long enough because you can always cut it off, but if you don't make it long enough, that would be bad. So you're gonna tie it around and I'm just gonna make a square knot, which is right over left, left over right. And I'm gonna make it a little loose because I wanna later be able to put, I wanna be able to put my string under there. And I'm gonna make a string around the top. Again, I wanna leave it a little bit extra so I have room to tie. Sometimes it's easier to tie a knot if you have somebody hold it. I wanna put it up around the edge. And I'm gonna tie my knot. And again, I have to leave it a little bit loose Make sure I'm making a right knot. If you make a granny knot, it might not work so good. All right. Two times as long as my arm. So you can measure it against your arm. And I'm gonna start by tying it to these two knots. And then I'm gonna string it up and down around like that really tight. And I'm gonna take the end and I'm gonna go down. And I'm gonna actually loop it around once. I'm gonna pull it through and I'm gonna go around again. I looped it around. Okay. Then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go around that string again. And I'm gonna include the rubber band. I think that's going to help hold my string around the rubber band. And I'm not going to just go up and down. I'm going to make it a loop. I'm going to go around it again, then come down. Okay. So I'm going to finish that and then get back to you. I have mine tied all the way around. Now I'm gonna just take the last end, make one more knot. And I think if we had this long enough, you could actually make a loop and then you could use it to hang it up. I don't know if I'm gonna be tricky enough to do that today. But I guess we could get one more piece of string and make a loop and I'm gonna cut my extra threads, cut the extra pieces. And I am all set with my djembe.